Hey guys. Welcome to our channel Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that in previous video we have discussed different types of benchmark. Today our topic is different types of levels used in surveying. So move toward our today's topic. Types of levels used in leveling survey. Following are the types. Of different levels used. For leveling and surveying. Dumpy level. Y level. Cushing's level. Tilting level. Cook's reversible level. Automatic level. Dumpy level. Dumpy level is the most commonly used instrument in leveling. In this level the telescope is restricted against movement in its horizontal plane. And telescope is fixed to its support. A bubble tube is provided on the top of the telescope. But however, the leveling head can be rotated in horizontal plane with the telescope. The telescope is internal focusing telescope. Is a metal tube contains four main parts as given below. Objective lens. Negative lens. Diaphragm. Eyepiece. Objective lens. Objective lens should be made as the combination of crown glass and flint glass because of this and defects like spherical aberration and chromatic aberration can be eliminated. A thin layer coating which has smaller refractive index than glass is provided on the objective lens to reduce the loss due to reflection. Negative lens. Negative lens located coaxial to the objective lens. So the optical axis for both lenses is same. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is fitted inside the main tube which contains crosshairs, vertical and horizontal, and these are adjusted by capstan headed screws. The crosshairs are made of dark metal as filament wires which are inserted in diaphragm ring in exact position for stadia leveling purposes. Extra two horizontal crosshairs are provided above and below the horizontal wire. Eyepiece, eyepiece lens enable the ability to sight the object together with crosshairs, the image seen through eyepiece is magnified and inverted. Some eyepieces erect the image into normal view. And those are called as erecting eyepieces. Y level. Y level or Y level consists Y shaped frames, which supports the telescope. Telescope can be removed from the Y shaped supports by releasing clamp screws provided. These Y shaped frames are arranged to vertical spindle which helps to cause the rotation of telescope compared to dumpy level. Adjustments can be rapidly tested in Y level, but there may be a chance of frictional wear of open parts of level. Cushing's level. In case of Cushing's level, the telescope is restricted against rotation in its longitudinal axis and it is non-removable, but the object end and eyepiece end can be interchangeable and reversible. Tilting level. Tilting level. Consists of telescope, which enabled for the horizontal rotation, as well as rotation about 4 degree in its vertical plane. Centering of bubble. Can be easily done. In this type of level. But. For every setup bubble is to be centered. With the help of tilting screw. The main advantage. Of tilting level. Is it is useful when the few observations. Are to be taken with one setup of level. <laughs> Cook's reversible level. Cook's reversible level is the combination of dumpy level and Y level. In this instrument, the telescope can be reversed. Without rotation the instrument. Collimation error can be eliminated. In this case because of bubble left and bubble right reading of telescope. <laughs> Automatic level. Automatic level is like the dumpy level. In this case, the telescope is fixed to its supports. Circular speared can be attached to the side of the telescope for approximate leveling. For more accurate leveling, compensator is attached inside the telescope. Compensator can help the instrument to level automatically. Compensator is also called a stabilizer, which consists two fixed prisms, and it creates an optical path between eyepiece and objective due to the action of gravity. The compensator results the optical system to swing into exact position of line of sight automatically. But before the process of leveling, compensator should be checked. To check the compensator, just move the foot screw slightly. If the leveling staff reading remains constant, then compensator is perfect. If it is not constant, then tap the telescope gently to free the compensator. Automatic level is also called as self-adjusting level. If you guys enjoyed our today's video, 
then like, comment and share our today's video and subscribe our channel Civil Engineering Guru and support our channel to grow more. Thank you. Bye.